Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Dee. I am a Saint Beauty artist, a savvy brand partner, and a DIY lash enthusiast. But you didn't click on this video for any of those things. You clicked on this video because I'm doing a quick review of the Tarte new tubing mascara that they came out with. Um, one thing real quick you'll find about my video are I'm not brand specific, even though I sell Saint Beauty products. I love Saint, Saint products. I absolutely love DIY lashes. I love to talk about a variety of different things on my channel. Pretty much anything that intrigues me, I like to do a review on and kind of share my thoughts on. So you'll not find anything brand specific. It's just pretty much if, if I like it, if I don't like it, if I feel like sharing it, that's kind of what um, I'm about. But I don't not share things because I don't get paid for them. It really is, my YouTube channel is hopefully meant to be an educational thing of, hey, did it work for me? Will it work for you? Would I recommend it? That sort of thing. So today's video, again, is on the Tarte Mascara. So this came out about a month ago, um, and I was in, immediately intrigued, mostly because I have no eyelashes. You can see right here, I have very, very fair skin. My eyelashes are literally translucent, hence the reason why I do DIY lashes. So I'm always looking for a good mascara on the days that I don't wear lashes that will make me look like I have lashes. And I've gone through, like I just recently tried the MAC one. Um, I've tried a variety of different ones and I just wanna take you through my thoughts with this mascara. Now, I will be doing a future video of the Thrive Cosmetics tubing mascara versus the Tartlet so that you, I think it's called Tartlet. Yeah, Tartlet tubing mascara. So to see which one I like better because I do, they're very similar price points and I'll put the price up here maybe up here, um, but they're very similar price points, but just want, which one has the better formulation. So, comes like this, and I mean, I hate to say that I'm not a sucker for packaging, but sometimes I am. There are just certain packaging that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is pretty, it's clean, I like the fact that it's smooth, it just has really, really kind of, to me, classic packaging that it just works. And I feel like you get a lot of product. Um, it is point two seven fluid ounces. I don't know how much a, a regular mascara is. Like this one by MAC is pretty much the same thing. I think you get a little bit more from MAC. But I mean, it's a decent and it's heavy. You can feel the weight of it. I don't know. Some people are into packaging. So this is what the wand looks like. And I'll be honest with you. When I first saw the wand, I was like, okay, this really doesn't do anything for me. I'm not sure if this is going to um, do what I want it to do. And what I want it to do is I want it to have long, thick, fake looking lashes. I don't want skinny, spidery lashes. I don't want chunky lashes. I want somewhere in between where I get the length um, and then the lengthening effect, but then the volumizing effect as well. I want them to look fake. I don't want them to look natural, but I also don't want them to be spidery thin or chunky, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and get into it. First, I'm going to curl my lashes just because otherwise there's stick out and whatever. Now, in full disclosure, this is not, please don't judge the mascara by my crappy lashes. I do not have fabulous lashes. I'm working on it, it's a whole big thing. But in full disclosure, my lashes suck. Hence the reason why I'm looking for a mascara like this. So just don't, don't judge the, the product by my crappy lashes. I'm not going to have like gorgeous lashes after this. Let's just be clear. But I wanna talk, talk to you about the formulation and what I like about it and all that stuff. It's not really, it's a little bit about the before and after, but not a lot because my lashes suck. So, I'm just gonna go in. Okay, so that's kind of, I was gonna say row one, like I'm doing lashes, but that's kind of a layer one. And you can see here, very, very natural, kind of more of that spidery look, but really, really pretty. And you can see how it accentuates my, my lashes. Um, really, the brush is really, really easy to kind of comb through and the little bristles on the end really comb through. So you can make sure that you get kind of even distri distribution across all the different lashes. So what I like to do is kind of go in there and start building it up. And this is where, to me, the magic happens because a lot of brands get super, super chunky, but this one does a really good job of building up without getting super, super chunky. The 
difference. Let me do my bottom lashes because I feel like my top lashes are. So that is the difference. Again, don't judge the mascara by my crappy lashes. I think it's amazing. Um, I feel like I have lashes. I feel like it's really, really pretty. I feel like they're lengthened, but they're also volumized. You can see to me, this is the lash look that I personally go for with my lashes. Obviously, I wish they were a little bit longer. I wish they were a baller. I wish they had a girl that looked good, they, they would call her. But this is what I've got to work with. And I feel like the mascara does a really, really good job with my puny little lashes. Um, the other thing that I really, really like about it is when I do wear DIY lashes, I do put mascara on my bottom lashes and I love the way it looks on my bottom lashes. I love the way that it separates them. It darkens them. They're there. It's so, so pretty. And to me, it looks a little bit more natural than some of the other mascaras that I've tried. So of course the top doesn't look very natural, but I feel like the bottom really does. And especially wearing, when I'm wearing DIY lashes, it's just a really, really good combination. So even if the top lashes, like I will continue using this, this is, I'll be full disclosure, has been my go-to. I absolutely love it. I will be repurchasing it once I'm done with it. Again, I'm gonna do the video of the Thrive versus this and see which one I like better, but I really, really like it. And especially for my bottom lashes, it is now my go-to when I wear DIY lashes. So let me do the other one and so you can kind of see the full look instead of this crazy craziness. It's amazing how mascara opens up your eyes and really completes the look. Like you feel like, nice, mm, nice. Mm. My eyebrows are maybe a different color too. Does anybody else hate the fact that their eyebrows are twins and not, or sisters and not twins? Wish they were exactly the same because it really makes me upset when they're not. Okay. So that is the finished look. Like I said, absolutely love it. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, and I would highly, highly recommend it. It is not affordable. Tarte obviously is, I wouldn't say it's super high end. It's kind of in the middle. I love the fact that I can get it at Ulta. My Ulta carries it, which that's saying a big deal because I live in the boonies. I don't really live in the boonies, but my Ulta thinks that I live in the boonies because they never have anything in stock. But I like the fact that my Ulta carries it. It's a super easy product that I can get on my hands. Um, I feel like it's just really, really pretty. And for those days that I'm not wearing lashes, I feel like I can wear mascara and not feel like I'm super, super sick. Do you ever like wear, if you, for you gals who wear lashes and you take your lashes off, it's like, ooh, ooh, are you sick? Like people actually say that. I feel like this is, gives me enough baba boom where I don't look like I'm sickly and you can actually see my lashes. And I, I really, really like it. It's very good. So. That is my video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for my Thrive vs. Tarte tubing mascara. I will definitely try to get that up, the, up sooner rather than later, but please let me know if you tried this mascara. Leave your comments below so that other viewers know whether or not it's a good product. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. Until next time, bye.